Hello everyone, we are going to learn about complete incidence matrix in network topology. Uh, this is a part of circuit theory. So first of all we have some rules. If we are going towards a node then we have to take minus 1 in incident matrix. I am talking about that node which you are selecting which we have uh, written here. And these are all edges of that uh, specific graph you, you have taken and these are the vertices okay if you are going towards a node then you will take minus one if you are going towards uh, if you are going away from that node then we will take plus one so as you can see this is a, a simple graph here uh, if we have more specific one I have taken uh, four vertices one two three four and this is their edge 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 respectively and this is our incidence matrix so just see that this is the vertices uh, these are the all vertices and these are all edges so first of all we have vertex 1 so as you can see uh, the edge 2 is going away from the node 1 so we will take plus 1 as our rule ok so we will plus 1 and as you can see uh, 1 is going towards that node so we will take minus 1 and 3 is going away from 1 so we will take plus 1 and in other all other are not in contact with node 1 so we will take 0 so similarly in node 2 uh, 5 is going towards the 2 so it we will take it minus 1 2 is going towards 2 so it is my minus 1 and 4 is going away from 2 so it is plus 1 and all other are 0 similarly in case of 3 uh, this 3 is going towards 3 so minus 1 6 is going away from 3 so plus 1 and um, 5 is going away from it so plus 1 and all other are 0 so in case of 4 4 is going towards 4 minus 1 and 6 is also going towards 4 so minus 1 and 1 is going away from 4 so plus 1 and all other are zeros so this is the incidence matrix in case of this graph and there are some properties sum of entries in each column should be 0 determinant of uh, complete incident matrix of a closed loop is 0 and rank of considered matrix is n minus 1 where n is the number of vertices as you can see I have um, as you can see uh, the sum of all the elements in a column will be zero this is a special feature of your coincident uh, complete incident matrix otherwise your matrix will be not correct if you are not getting zero if you are adding all the elements in column so minus one plus one zero as you can see all elements are zero